emergency broadcast. We're sorry. All circuits are busy now. Will you please try your call again later? Hello YouTube and Preppers, this is the Comms Prepper with another video about the TNCX Packet Controller. My previous video showed how I built one of these from the kit form and my other modem showed up in the mail today so I'm going to demonstrate quickly how these two modems will interact with each other and link two laptop computers together via radio frequency through the bug out bag radio over here which is connected to the TNCX modem which is connected to the laptop and then over here I have sorry about the studio here I have an FT60R handheld radio up there on the ironing board don't have a lot of space here connected to this TNCX connected to this laptop computer and in the middle here I have a Puxton radio just monitoring the frequency so you can hear the tones taking place so all I'm going to do for this video here is initiate a connection between the two stations so you can see these two modems talk to each other and then I'll do a follow-up video where we actually exchange peer-to-peer -peer or laptop to laptop messages through these modems over the radios and I hope to work in the ocean radio once I get the cable worked out so again we're going to transmit from this laptop to this modem to the FT60R radio up there via radio that's going to come up over here to the FT817ND bug out bag radio which is connected to this modem connected to this laptop so I'm going to go ahead and split this down the center screen here that's what this tape represents and I'm going to go ahead and hit the start button and initiate a connection And now those two laptops are communicating with each other through their respective radios. And that was pretty quick because they already disconnected, so I'll go ahead and do it again for you. And I'll switch it around here. I'll hit the start button on this laptop over here. And now the other computer is answering. And they're querying each other to see if either one has message traffic for the other station. So I didn't put any messages in there. So they're just asking each other if there's messages waiting. And then they're disconnecting. So I'll go ahead and pause here. And what I'll do is I'll go ahead and type up a sample message so you can actually see a little more traffic take place. So I'm going to pause for a second. Okay, so what I have here is a test message prepared in the RMS Express application and I'm going to post it to the outbox but what I'm going to do differently here is I'm going to post it as a peer-to-peer -peer message post to outbox so now it's going to be sitting waiting in the outbound queue and that message is going to get transmitted from this laptop to this modem up here to that radio again through radio frequency it's going to connect to that radio which is going to come down to this modem and then go into the inbox of this computer so I'll go ahead and hit the start button over here and now this side has reported to this side that there's a message waiting in the queue message has now been transmitted and then these two modems will negotiate a disconnect and the disconnect is complete that message has been transmitted between two laptops using two radios and the TNCX coastal chip works packet modem and as always thank you for watching my videos and subscribing to my channel this has been the comms prepper with an introduction to peer-to-peer -peer message transfers between two laptops using a packet modem with some more follow-up videos as I get it out of the uh, ad hoc comms prepper studio here and get it out into the field.